Hello everybody, peace be upon you. This is Mr. Muhammad Talha and you are watching Learn English with Mr. Talha. Today, inshallah, we're going to talk about another two letters. These letters are F and G. F and G. So, let's get started. Our first letter today is F. The letter is F, but the sound is F, F, F. Again, the letter is F, but the sound is F, F, F. And we said before that it's a voiceless sound. A voiceless sound. Why? Because you don't vibrate your vocal cords when you say this sound. So, if you put your finger here, and say f, 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 f. your vocal cords don't vibrate so it's called a voiceless sound a voiceless sound it's a sound is f, 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 fish f, f, fish f, f, fan Fan, f, f, frog, f, f, frog. Now let's learn how to write the letter F on the four lines, the three lines, the two lines, and only one line. So let's start with the four lines. When we write F on the four lines, we start at the top on the first line and we must go down, 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 down to the third line. Then we make a sleeping line like that and another sleeping line like that on the second line. It's called F capital. It's called F capital. Again, let's see how to write F capital on the four lines. We start at the top. From the first line, then go down, 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 down to the third line. And then at the first line, we go to the right and go to the right again. From the second line, it's called F capital. And to make it easier to my child, I can write it like this. Here, go to the left. Then go straight down to the third line and make a sleeping line on the second line. It's F capital. F capital. So let's see how to write it on the three lines. We start at the first line, then go down to the third line, then make a sleeping line on the first line and make a sleeping line on the second line. It's called F capital. Again, we start at the top from the first line, go down to the third line, and then go straight at the first line, and then another sleeping line on the second line. It's F capital. So let's see how to write it on the two lines. I say to my child that I start at the top, here at the top, then go down, 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 down to the second line. And then at the top, I'll make a sleeping line to the right. And another sleeping line on the second line like that. It's F capital. Again, I say to my child that I start at the top, at the top, above the two lines. And then go down to the second line like that. And then at the top, I make a sleeping line to the right like that and another sleeping line to the right like that on the second line. It's F capital. It's F capital. So now let's see how to write it on one line, on only one line. So I say that I start at the top, then go down on that line, at the top again, I'll go to the right like that and another one to the right like that 
It's called F capital. F capital. Again, at the top, I go down to the line. And then at the top again, I make a sleeping line like that to the right. And another sleeping line from the middle like that. It's F capital. F capital. F capital. So what about F small? Let's see how to write F small on the four lines. It's like F capital, but it's curved at the top. It's curved at the top. So I start at the top with a curved line like that, a curved line like that, then go down to the third line like that, then make a sleeping line here like that across this line so it's f small f small again at the top i'll make a curved line like that then go straight to the third line like that and then make a sleeping line here like that it's f small f small let's see how to write it on three lines again i'll start at the first line with a curved line like that and then go down to that third line like that and then make a sleeping line here like that again a curved line at the top then go straight down like that and a sleeping line like that let's see how to write it on the two lines i'll say to my child that i'll start at the top above the two lines above the two lines and make a curved line like that then go down to the second line and then a sleeping line like that again at the top at the top i'll make a curved line like that then go straight down to the second line and then make a sleeping line like that it's f small f small let's see how to write it on one line i'll say to my child that I will start at the top with a curved line, then go down to the line like that, and then make a sleeping line like that. Again, a curved line at the top, go straight to the line, and then make a sleeping line like that. It's F small. This is the way we write F capital and F small on four lines, three lines, two lines, and only one line. Let's go to our second letter today. It's called G. It's called G. So the letter is G, but the sound is ga, ga, ga. And it can be ga, 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 or ja, ja, ja. Ga, 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 or ja, ja, ja. And I must notice that the two sounds are voiced. What's meant by voiced? When you put your finger here and say ga 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 or ja ja ja, you can find that your vocal cords vibrate. There is a vibration on your vocal cords. So say again ga 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 or ja 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 let's see some words which begin with the ga 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 sound or ja 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 sound ga 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 game ga 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 gold ga 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 gate ga 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 Good. The second sound is ja, ja, ja. Let's see some words which begin with this sound. Ja, ja, ja. Giraffe. Ja, ja, ja. Gem. Ja, ja, ja. Gem. Ja, ja, ja. Gem. Ja, ja, ja. Gem. So now let's see how to write the letter G 
on the four lines, the three lines, the two lines, and on only one line. When we write the capital G or the uppercase G on the four lines, I must say to my child that I start at the top, at the first line, and make a curved line like that. Make a curved line like that. Go to the third line. Then go to the second line again. Then make a sleeping line like that. It's G capital. G capital. Again, we start at the top from the first line. Make a curved line like that. Make a curved line like that. Go to the third line. Go back again to the second line like that. And then make a sleeping line like that. It's G capital. G capital. So let's see how to write it on the three lines. Again, we we'll start at the top, make a curved line like that, make a curved line like that, it must go to the third line, then go back again, then make a sleeping line like that, it's G capital, G capital, again, a curved line at the top, go down to the third line, then go back again to the second line, and then make a straight line like that. So let's see how to write it on the two lines. We start at the top, above the two lines. And then make a curved line like that. Go to the second line. And then go back again to the first line. And make a sleeping line like that. Again, at the top, make a curved line like that. Go to the second line back to the first line then a sleeping line like that it's g capital let's see how to write it on only one line i'll start at the top then go down to this line go back again like that to the middle and make a sleeping line like that again a curved line at the top go down to this line and go back again to its middle and then go straight like that. It's G capital. G capital. G capital. So what about G small? Let's see how to write G small on these lines. I must say to my child that the G goes down to the fourth line. I must say to my child that G small goes down to the fourth line and its curved line must be between these two lines let's see how to write it i must make a curved line like that curved line like that like c it must touch the two lines it must touch the two lines and then from this line i'll go down like that i'll go down like that to the fourth line and curve it at the bottom like that I make a curved line like that like C then a straight line like that to the bottom must go to the fourth line and then curve it at the bottom curve it at the bottom so it's G small so G small goes down to the fourth line G small goes down to the fourth line so what about the three lines okay i must start here i must start here and make a curved line like this it's like c and then a straight line and this straight line must go down like that curve it at the bottom like that again i'll make a curved line on the second and third line like that it must touch the second and third line then a straight line like that it must go down and curve it at the bottom like that it's G small G small G small so let's see how to write G small on the two lines so I'll start here at the first line make a curved line like C like that 
Then a straight line like that, it must go down under the two lines and curve it at the bottom like that again. I'll make a curved line between the two lines like that. And then go down with a straight line and curve it at the bottom like that. It's G small, G small. So when I write G small on only one line, it must go down under this line. So G small goes down under that line. So when I write G small on only one line, I must say to my child that I make a curved line like that on the line. And then goes down the line like that. Again, I make a curved line like C on this line and then goes straight down down the line curve at that bottom it's G small G small so this is a way how to write G capital G small on the lines thank you very much for watching don't forget like share subscribe and don't forget the bell so that you can watch all our episodes Goodbye. Salam alaikum.